Hey there, lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and today I have got some First Contact Entertainment news, specifically Firewall Zero Hour news, which is always lovely to have. I always, I'm always excited to talk about Firewall, and I'm delighted that I finally get a chance to talk about Firewall again. Unfortunately, I had a whole video done, like an hour of recording that I was about to edit down into something a lot smaller than that, but still. Took up all that time, realized that the software I'm using here didn't capture the footage as I was talking over as I was doing an analysis because First Contact Entertainment last night were doing a stream where they showed off a brand new map that is coming to Firewall Zero Hour. It's called Post 15. It is this cool underground bunker kind of a location that seems to be like maybe where the president would hide out in the case of like a nuclear assault or attack or if war broke out. There's a big war room in the middle of the room. There's a podium for the president. In the video I had done, you could see all these things. I was talking over them and pointing all these things out. Unfortunately, that's gone. That's useless. That's rubbish. So instead of just scrapping it all together, I said I'd just make this quick video here and point out a couple of the things that were worth talking about. Obviously, the whole majority of the thing was about the map, the layout of the map, so I can't really go over that just by talking about it. Although I will say you can expect the same kind of polish and sheen that we've come to expect from First Contact. That tradition continues with this map. It looks really, really nice. I cannot wait to get into it. Now, Firewall Frank was doing the talking in the corner as he normally does. He presents these live streams. And he was telling us that, you know, this is indicative of what you can expect when it does come out. He couldn't say when it was coming out exactly, just that it's probably not too far away. We had a new color scheme in the main menu, this time a light purplish kind of a color. Normally every season has a new color, so we got this new one. That kind of pretty much confirms that this is a new season that's coming. But just for last night, they only showed off the map. That is not to say there won't be contractors, weapons and all that kind of stuff later on. Now the big thing I wanted to point out, the big thing that I had made a big deal about in the original video, but I'm just going to make it a big deal here, because this part you don't need the video for that. Basically, in a loading screen, Frank was talking about how they're still supporting Firewall, even though they got Solaris, so they're juggling these things together, uh, which by the way I'm a huge fan of, I'm delighted to see that they haven't dropped Firewall just because Solaris is out now, and it's really impressive that such a small team like First Contact Entertainment are able to juggle these big virtual reality games and keep both sides happy. But the big thing that Frank was saying is that, and I'll paraphrase what he said here, he said that we have no idea what's coming to Firewall Zero Hour and that he'd love to tell us more, but obviously his lips are sealed, his hands are tied. All that usual stuff that we've come to expect from First Contact Entertainment because of course Firewall is a first party Sony PlayStation game, so they have to be careful with what they're saying. But, just the way that Frank said us, it, it seemed like this is not just another map, or another contractor, or another weapon. He put some real emphasis on that, that it was a big thing coming. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe dedicated servers, considering Solaris just came out and they've got the dedicated servers, maybe they're able to put Firewall onto those servers now that they have them up and running for that. I'm not technical, I do not understand how all that stuff works, I don't even know if that's possible, if you can just like, transfer all that stuff over to private or dedicated servers, but I think it's something that we should probably be excited for. It's great to see Firewall is not dead yet. There is still future going into, you know, 2021 on PS5s maybe, you know, I'm speaking of PS5, maybe he's, maybe that was what he was hinting at. Maybe we're going to be seeing a PlayStation 5 patch uh, to take more advantage of the hardware there. Obviously, it can't be too much more taken advantage so that there won't be any unfair, you know, advantages for PS5 players. But, you know, if they took out some of the jaggies, you know, sharpened the image a bit, or anything at all that the PS5 could bring to the table that would not bring an unfair advantage competitively, that would be more than welcome. Now, that's not where my money is. My money is probably more on the dedicated server side of things, or maybe new game modes or something like that. But, just thought that was worth mentioning. Very quick video. Uh, I didn't want to lose everything I'd done, and, and I still wanted to get this news out there. So that is it. I have to wrap this up right now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.